Hey my little rainbows and welcome to another Create a Sim video. First I want to say happy holidays to everybody. No matter what you celebrate, I hope everybody is having a wonderful holiday season. So in today's Create a Sim video, we are doing Sims inspired by Laura Olympus by Rachel Smythe. And if you have not read it yet, after this video, go download the Webtoons app and read it because it is amazing. And I'll link that information in the video description below. It's so good. So it is about the Greek god Hades and Persephone and basically how they get together so this right here is Persephone and first of all the art is amazing as you can see just from Persephone all of the gods are different colors and Persephone is pink and you'll see later that Hades is blue but then like Zeus is purple and it's just so cool like the concept of it all and I actually am using more alpha custom content in this video especially like alpha custom content hair which I rarely ever use but I just thought it fit a lot better than Max's match hair. It's really cool too because Persephone has short hair like she has this cute little pixie cut but when she gets stressed or when her emotions get going her hair grows really long like it turns into this like long Rapunzel hair and it's so beautiful and then she just like cuts it off because it's getting annoying and then like later she'll get emotional and then like her hair will grow again and it's so cool. In Laura Olympus the gods and goddesses they are much more modern and they have like cell phones and drive cars and they dress like like in today's clothing but all of the mortals are in ancient times which I just think the concept of that is so so cool and Persephone she wears a ton of white so you'll see me going through a lot of different white dresses for her she's so adorable too she's actually only supposed to be 19 in the series and if you haven't read it yet I won't give away any spoilers but her age is like some of the cause for problems between her and Hades but she is so sweet and the series is still going on as I'm filming this video, so I'm not sure if like anyone is seeing this years later, if like the personality of her might change or something like that. But as of now, she's really like kind and naive and she's also really smart and creative too. And she is the goddess of spring and a lot of the time she'll have flowers in her hair and she wears a lot of flower crowns too. So you'll see that I add flower crowns for her outfits. I really think that if you guys like the relationships in my royal family series and like all the couples and like family relationships that you guys are really going to love Laura Lippis. It is so, so good. And just the interactions between the characters is so detailed and it's so powerful. And like, oh my gosh, her and Hades are just the cutest. Like all of their interactions are the cutest thing ever. It's just, oh my gosh, it has so much detail and it's just, it's so affecting and they're so cute, you guys. If you guys don't know the story of Hades and Persephone or like anything much about the Greek gods, Hades is the god of the underworld. I'm sure if you guys have seen Hercules, like the Disney movie then you guys would know that and he's actually blue in that too but he's a much different character in this series than he is in Disney's Hercules movie but Hades is the king of the underworld and then Persephone is the queen of the underworld but this whole series is about how she becomes queen and like before they're actually together which is so interesting but then the author also focuses on the relationships between like Hera and Zeus and between other characters as well like with the Greek gods too, I also learned how related everybody is, which I did not know at first. So um, that was interesting to find out, but I know with Persephone, like, She's got issues with her mother and her mother is like really overprotective and she's also really young, but she's like sent to Olympus to go to school even though she was raised in the mortal realm. But there's, yeah, again, just so much backstory that you learn about these characters, which I always love learning more backstory about characters. It just makes you feel so much more connected to them and it just makes you have like so many more emotions and more feelings when you read things. The thing about Lore Olympus, so like my friends were telling me for the longest time that I needed to read it and it took me forever to actually start but once I did I could not stop and I ended up pulling an all-nighter just reading it I actually got my boyfriend to start reading it too and he loves it so it is just so good the thing about the episodes though are that they're so short like incredibly short so I highly recommend if you start reading it just to take your time and not like just go through and read it all or like try not to go through and read it all at one sitting because otherwise you're just going to be like waiting 
every week for an episode, but then every episode is so short. So you're just like, oh, okay, that was it. I was actually really happy too with the way Persephone turned out, my Sim. I think like in her face, she looks very, very similar to the Persephone from Laura Olympus. So I'll just like show you guys like a quick picture of her here so you can see, but she's so cute. She's so adorable. She has like these giant eyes and just like her hair being pink and then like her skin being pink and her eyes being pink. I feel like that's probably why she always wears white and like very neutral colors because it's very hard to match a color if like everything on you is pink. I could not find alpha custom content that was able to match like her hair when it gets really long because when it grows, it's still really wavy and you could tell it's kind of just like all over the place, but it still looks really, really good. So I couldn't find anything that I thought worked well enough for that, unfortunately. So I just tried to do this hair. This hair is actually more of a mix between alpha custom content and Maxis match. So I don't have a lot of alpha custom content. So I really just tried to look for all of her hairstyles and everything just in one day. And I made her sweet and she's like very book smart and wants to be like, like, I don't know, like her goal is academics. I don't know if that makes sense, but that's what I made her aspiration to be. And I made her, her last name Kore because her name before Zeus gives her a new name in Greek mythology is Kore, and then he changes it to Persephone. So that's why, and I do the same thing with Hades because his name was different beforehand too. So you guys will see that. But now we're on Hades and Hades is such a gentleman. He wears a lot of suits, a lot of suspenders, uh, just like super, super classy. Like I'm trying to think of something to compare him to, but he's almost like just like a really classy businessman. And he he is nothing like you would think. I mean, the whole thing about him in the series is that he seems to be really, what is the word? I guess just like misjudged. Like people have perceived him to be someone that he isn't. Like they perceive him to be like his brothers who are very sleazy and like huge players and they have like a ton of affairs. But Hades is nothing like that at all. He's really sweet and he's such a gentleman and he's so good to Persephone too. And it's so, so cute. And it's also to the point where you're like, why am I attracted to this man that's blue? And you're just realizing that it's his his personality that makes him so attractive. I do actually end up changing some things about him later because you can just tell from the art and in the series, his nose is so long. Like it's so pointy and so long. So I had to try to make it look like that. And then like his face is really long too, but it's not like the way that it is in the Disney Hercules. Like that's not what he looks like. So it was kind of hard getting those proportions, but still making it look right and still trying to do him justice for from Lore Olympus too. So he's also very tall, like it's hard with the Sims because I know there's a mod to adjust the Sims height, but I didn't, I don't have that mod, so I couldn't do that. But Hades is like really tall and Persephone is like half of his height. You can just see them when they're together. His hair is like a silverish blue. So I didn't really go with like the silver white. I went more with something that looked a little bit teal colored and obviously his skin is blue. His hair, or no, sorry, not his hair, his eyes in some of the scenes, they just look black, but then in other scenes they look red. I mean, like he has definitely like a dark aggressive side to him sort of, but it's like very much needed when he is aggressive. So like, it's just more like a protective thing, I think. So I see that in his eyes usually when his eyes are red, but other, I mean, other than that, he's not like evil at all. He definitely has been misjudged. Like people don't like him at all, but it's because they don't really know him. And I, Persephone is the only one who sees him as being so kind and all of this stuff. So yeah, I mean, they're just adorable because it's like they both like each other, but they don't want to tell each other that they like each other. And it's so cute, you guys, you have to read it. For his formal outfit. Okay, so there were pictures of him with like, like pointy crowns. And I tried to do that. That outfit is actually what King Cayman of Selvadorada, that's his formal outfit, not the crown. I haven't used the crown yet, but it was the only thing that I thought fit. And that crown came with that outfit outfit. So I thought that might work. I also downloaded a crown that had like swords on it too, that made it look more similar to what it is in Lore Olympus, but I couldn't, I don't know. I couldn't find it for some reason, but I'll show some screenshots to you guys too. So Hades, he's romantic and he just wants to find his soulmate and he is kind of gloomy as well. And he is also a huge animal lover. He has a ton of dogs and he's so sweet with them too. So yeah, guys, that's Hades. 
Hermes and Persephone, and I got some really cute couple shots of them at the end too. I do a little bit of changes to Hades after I film this so you guys can see that more in the pictures, but let me know what you guys think. Let me know if you have read Laura Olympus and if you love it as much as I do in the comments below. If you have not read it yet and you read it after this video, let me know what you guys think. I really think you guys are going to love it. It's so, so good. This is a little bit different, I know, but they're still king and queen of the underworld, so I thought it fit really well. Plus, I love this series so much. It's one of my favorite things right now. I will upload them to the gallery, so make sure you check out my gallery ID, which is the real mirror ray, and that information is in the video description below. And you can also find the information about Lore Olympus and how to start reading it in the video description below as well. But if you enjoyed this, make sure you hit that like button. If you have not yet, make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn on your notifications, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!